Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. I'm a professional makeup artist and I have tested countless foundations, but today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five favorite high-end foundations. Personally, I am so picky with foundations, so I know that finding the perfect foundation can be such a daunting task, especially when it comes with a high price tag. But don't worry, I've got you covered. I've done all the research, I've put in the hours, I've tested them all, and I'm bringing you the best of the best today. These foundations, I promise, will give you flawless, natural looking skin. Whether you have dry, oily, combo, sensitive, I've included a little something for everybody. I'm going to be going through all the details like finishes, coverage, all of that to make sure that you find the perfect match for your skin. Just a heads up in the description down below, I'm going to link all the foundations that I talk about. Some of the links are affiliate links, which means I will earn a small commission if you do make a purchase using the link. This video is not sponsored. No one is paying me to say these things. I'm just sharing with you my personal recommendations from my experience as a professional makeup artist. One last thing before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. I would love it if you joined our community here. So are you ready to find your new go-to foundation? Let's get started. I'm gonna kind of go from light coverage to full coverage. So starting off, I have the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation SPF 25. This one retails for $57. All the prices today are going to be in Canadian dollars. This is a medium coverage foundation with like the name states, SPF 25, which is a huge bonus for me because I don't always wanna think about or worry about whether my SPF is gonna mix with my foundation, did I forget to wear SPF, all that stuff. I don't have to think about it with this foundation. It's already in there. I would say medium coverage is probably the most you're gonna get from this foundation. In fact, I actually prefer shearing it out for more of a light finish. So this foundation actually has a lot of skin improving ingredients in it. It has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, Arnica, peptides, vitamin B5, caffeine. These ingredients are clinically proven to hydrate, smooth, protect, plump your skin, brighten your skin. They are just gonna make your skin amazing but it is safe for sensitive skin. And in fact, I think it's pretty good and suitable for all skin types. Aside from extremely oily skin, I would caution you, definitely set this foundation down well, especially in your T-zone or any areas that you get oily, because I feel like if you're really oily throughout the day, you might find this foundation a little too shiny. In my opinion, this foundation works the best on dry combination skin. And I feel like it blends out best with a brush or a sponge or even your fingers. Honestly, you can use anything with this foundation. It blends like a dream. I honestly don't even feel the need to prime my skin before I wear this foundation. Like I would wear this with no moisturizer even. That is how hydrating this foundation is. It literally never creases, never sticks to any dry pack. Matches. It just wears beautifully. Love this foundation. Moving on, this is a newer foundation discovery for me. This is a different formula. This is a stick foundation. This is the foundation stick by Bosma. This is $40. So I honestly didn't really know if it categorized for high end, but it also definitely is not drugstore. I feel like anything above $30 is not really drugstore at that point, but Anyways, this is truly a light coverage to full coverage foundation. This is the best stick foundation that I've ever tried. So when I apply it on my skin, it literally feels like nothing. It can look like the perfect no makeup makeup. I've worn it like to the gym or just running errands. We'll just put a little bit. It is undetectable. I cannot feel it on my skin, but it perfects my skin. You can also go all in with this, apply it super full coverage, build it right up, and it still just feels weightless on your skin, but it gives you full coverage. This guy has a natural skin-like finish. It's definitely not as dewy as the Kosas, but I wouldn't say it's matte either. It really just like, it looks like skin. I can't stress that enough. It literally is like, it's undetectable. It's truly amazing. I love this formulation. I would recommend, especially if you're dry, to moisturize and prime before applying this foundation. It blends really easily, but I just feel like with that extra layer of moisture, it just like melts right into the skin. I personally like to blend it out with a brush. I think the whole range of skin types could use this foundation from oily to dry. I really think it's great. It's got a lot of really good hydrating ingredients as well, like aloe vera extract, vitamin A, and apricot butter. Moving on to the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. So this retails for $66, so it's a little bit up there in price, but I really do think that it is worth it. This is a true medium coverage foundation. 
However, it is buildable. This definitely gives you a natural radiant finish, a little bit less than the Kosas in my opinion, but same kind of deal, looks like skin. For the amount of coverage this foundation gives, it is very lightweight and very easy to blend on the skin. I really think this foundation would be suitable for most skin types, even mature skin. If you have mature skin and you're looking for something with a little bit of extra coverage, give this one a try. It's gonna keep your skin looking, like I said, like skin. So again, this is kind of like a skincare foundation high Hybrid. This contains a ton of really amazing ingredients like biomimetic oat, I hope I'm saying that right, which just pretty much reduces redness and evens your overall skin tone. It also has Japanese lily turf, which apparently helps repair and protect the skin barrier, which is something that I've been really trying to focus on lately, just getting my skin barrier in check so it gives me some comfort knowing that this one is actually doing that for me while I wear makeup. Another interesting thing about this foundation is it contains milk thistle, which apparently protects against blue light damage and like environmental stressors, which is pretty cool. Next up, we have the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. This one retails for $74, so definitely up there in price. But if you're looking for a luxury foundation that does it all, this is truly it. This is another medium buildable foundation. I really think you can get a lot of coverage out of this one, maybe even more so than the NARS Light Reflecting, in my opinion. I'll actually reach for this often when I'm doing more of a full glam look because it really gives me that coverage but it keeps the skin truly looking like skin. It also just blurs the skin like no other. It really just looks like you have a filter on almost. I see why they call this soft glow. It just softens and blurs, it's so beautiful. I would say all skin types can use this foundation, but especially oily skin types. If you're an oily gal, I really recommend trying this one. If you're dry, I would just recommend exfoliate beforehand, prime, moisturize, do what you gotta do. I really don't feel like I need to powder this foundation. It just sets right down. If anything, I'll powder around the mouth, kind of like in this area, the nasal labial folds chin in between the brows a little bit and right in this area here where I get a little oily. But yeah, this foundation is not as shiny as some of the other ones. So if you're an oily skinned girl, try this out. This last foundation has been a favorite of mine for years. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This retails for $82, so it is very pricey. Definitely the most expensive foundation on my list today, but let me tell you why it is worth every penny. So I've had this in my collection forever. I've had it in my personal collection. I've had it in my professional makeup kit. And I just think I'll always have this with me. It's so good. This is a medium buildable coverage. It is super buildable. You can get full, full coverage with this, but it's so lightweight on the skin. If you want more of a no makeup makeup, just apply a really thin layer of this. If you want full glam, you can really just build this up and layer it up in the areas that you need for that super flawless kind of airbrushed finish. Again, like the last one, I would probably recommend this more for oily skin types, but again, if you are dry, just moisturize, exfoliate, prime. Just make sure you have that base layer on so that it doesn't cling to any dry patches on the skin. I believe this one's oil-free as well, so that's a really big bonus if you have oily skin. Personally, I like to apply this with a beauty blender and I just really like to work it into the skin and blend it out because once you kind of leave it on the face, it really sets and it lasts all day. So I don't like to worry about brush strokes or anything. I really just use a beauty blender to work this into the skin. And that's a wrap for my ultimate guide to foundations. I really hope you found this video helpful and I hope you're able to find your new go-to foundation. Remember, every skin is different, so make sure you play around with different shades, different finishes, different coverages to make sure you find the right foundation for you. Let me know if you give these foundations a try. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more makeup tutorials and reviews. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.